Hello everyone and welcome to Brooks Paranormal. Tonight the Brooks Paranormal team are investigating at Gresley's Old Hall in the town of Swaddlingcote in Derbyshire. We'll be joined by our hosts Haunted Houses Paranormal Adventures as well as various members of the public to try and capture activity of the afterlife. Swaddlingcote is one of England's oldest towns recorded down in the Doomsday Book of 1086 so it's no surprise that this town has a knack for hauntings. The name Gresley was also recorded down in the Doomsday Book, under the Middle English name of Grassell, and was applied to various buildings in the town, including Church Gresley and Castle Gresley. Gresley Old Hall was constructed using leftover materials from the original 12th century priory that once stood on these grounds, and in 1664 the building was finally complete. There has been a few notable spirits and ghosts that haunt the old hall, with two being that of a 12th century monk and a maid dressed in Victorian clothing. So will the team encounter these two spirits, and what eerie feels will we experience and capture here tonight? There's only one way to find out, let's do this. Anything out of the normal. If you get anything that I've just said, shout it out to me. I'll go eat the minute I put my hands on these two next to me. Keep radiating off one onto the other. Okay. Anybody else? It feels like magnets repelling. Mm. This one. <coughs> that way. On this side, up both sides actually. Okay, and who is it over here? I feel the heat straight away as soon as I did it. Okay. Have you ever done a human pendulum before? No. Okay, does anybody else know what a human pendulum is? Yeah. Yeah. Seen it yeah. Before, yeah? Can you give us a more prominent forward for yes, please, backward for no? Try not to resist it as well, Nikki. It's hard at first. Yeah. Not to. We will catch it, promise. We will. You've never dropped anybody out. <laughs> You've never dropped anybody out. <laughs> You've never dropped anybody out. Are you connected to this building? No. No. <laughs> I'll put you the head. Are you connected to someone in the room? No. Are you a spirit passing through this building? Backwards, yeah. mm. Just don't resist it, let it go, okay? No, it's not easy. Spirit, can we ask you to move aside and allow another spirit to come through? Could you do that for mm. us, please? So you don't usually get this, do you? No. <laughs> no, you can't really go anywhere, no, can you? No, no. So you don't usually get this, do you? No. <laughs> no, you can't really go anywhere, no, can you? No, no. Did you used to... So you don't usually get this, do you? No. <laughs> no, you can't really go anywhere, no. can you? Did you used to... We call upon the spirits of this building, come forward, communicate with us. Is there any spirits that would like to come forward and communicate with us now? Are you passing through this building? No. no. Have you got another spirit soul beside you now? I think you have... I think there's more than one of you. Is that correct? Keep playing. Do you like fun and games? Yeah. Come on then. Let's see if you can get you um, yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. What's your name? Linda. Linda. Okay, Linda, when you know how to relax as well. Yeah. Okay, so when you're ready, let us know. 
spirits of this building come forward and talk to us through Linda? Could you give us a forward? Go forward for a yes answer. And can you confirm backwards for a no answer? Thank you. Okay, Linda. Yeah. I guess you're fine. Were you here earlier on when I walked round? Yeah. I sensed you before. You were following me, weren't you? That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind following us. Is the, is the lady spirit with you now? Would she like to come forward and talk to us? That's fine. Anybody, any questions? Anybody, anything in the minds? Did you die in this building? Did you live in this building? Did you reside in this building? Yeah. Was it through working purposes? Are we still talking to the child or is it a lady now? Still child. I think it's a child, but you can ask that for yourself to clarify it. Okay. Are we still speaking to a child? Um, are you under the age of 10, sweetheart? We know you said you didn't work here, you said you stayed here. We'd like to know what purpose you stayed here. Did you live here as a part of, were you a part of the family that owned this building? Yep. Okay. Are you telling me the truth or did, are you playing with me? Were you a part of this family? Any staff in the building with us that would like to come forward and talk? He's answering your question before you've even finished. <laughs> <laughs> because been Thank cool. you. Thank you. Have we got any staff in the building with us that would like to come forward and talk? He's answering your question before you've even finished. Have we got any staff in the building with us that would like to come forward and talk? He's answering your question before you've even finished. There's something urgent about this now. Are you still the little boy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, can you tell us the new spirit that's come forward? Can you tell us whether you're female, please? Mm -hmm. So I'll take it and confirm with us that you are a male spirit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, can you step away from us, please? The spirit that's coming through now, can you step back, please? I'm asking you nice and politely, could you step back, please? Do oh, my way. Okay, you mean us no harm? Then you can stay. Are you a child spirit? Okay, right, Linda, I'm going to ask you to come out now, you've been there long enough, all right, yeah? Okay. I'm ready to come out yeah. and all. Yeah, okay. After using two participants who are both believers, we then experimented with a non-believer, known as a sceptic, to see what results we would get. Did you work outside? So you worked in the house. Yes. Were you involved in the construction of this building? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you 
die in the house. Did you die in this house? Yeah. Okay, Tony. Yeah. You're getting pins and needles for anything? No, it just feels weird. Yeah. Was it an accident? If anybody's been infected, any part of the body, you start to feel pains or let us know because sometimes you get what, they're, what they had. It affects people in different ways. If anybody's been infected, any part of the body, if anybody's been infected, any part of the body, Okay, Tony, do you want to carry this on or are you quite happy with what you had up to now? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll bypass now. Right, that's okay. fine. Okay, that's fine. During our human pendulum experiment, our camera captured a number of orbs or light anomalies around both Linda and the different participants. We also received various answers to questions using Linda and the participants, whether they be psychological or paranormal. Now that everyone had warmed up to the environment around them, it was time to disperse into two teams. One team headed off to the attic rooms, and us, we teamed with Paula's group and headed around the corner to some of the second floor rooms. Would you like to come forward, set some of them devices off? Can you come and talk to us? Come and affect one of us? We all give you permission to touch one of us. Can you make the room go cold or warm? Can you make a warm tap for us on the table? Spirits come forward towards the device on the table. Can you set that one up? There's one outside the door. Can you come towards that one and set that one off, please? Use the glass. Use the energy of people around the table and in this room. Soak the energy up and help you to move the glass for us on the table. Can you move it slightly round for me, please? Can you move it slightly round for me, please? Can you move it slightly round for me, please? While everyone else did a glass divination session, we decided to go into the adjacent room where our REM pod laid, to see if we could get any activity on a more personal level, and we certainly weren't disappointed. Sorry, did anyone just went shh? Yes. He's oh. just had that in his ear. He's just said it right this minute. He's just so he ago. said it? Yes, he's heard oh. it in his ear. Yeah. Oh. yeah. He hasn't said it himself. He hasn't said it himself? No. No, he hasn't he's said it, but he's heard it as well. We, we've ear. heard it. We've heard it right yeah. to next to us yeah, in here. He's just said he's heard it in his ear. Here. We've heard it Same in here. Thing, he's, got, he's back to this wall. Yeah, we right. heard it in here. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Who's the one making noises? Who's the one that's telling us to shh? Is this, is this an area of peace? Is this an area of tranquility? Are you a monk? Are you a holy person? That's that. Wow. The REM pod. So. So you're a monk. You're a monk. It's a monk. Yeah, the temperature's yeah, changing. Monk. Monk. As soon as I said, are you a monk? Yeah. You know, and it's, it's him that's telling us to shush. Yeah, because, because he's it... hiding in a priest hole here. Because that's what Darren's picking up next door. And it's what I had as well. Because I knew he was on the right level. So yeah, he's a monk hiding. 
He can see him lying down. Because you're not so sleepy. He's not hurt. He's being hidden. He's being hidden. He's being hidden. He's being hidden against his own accord. No, he's being hidden. Do you want to step out of the room with me? Eh? Just to make sure it's not because we're in here. Because it could easily just be a change in temperature because we're in here. Because the K2 is with me at the same time. Oh my what God. What is going on up there? They take what's happening up there. What are they doing? Yeah. Because the K2 is with me at the same time. Oh my what God. What is going on up there? They take what's happening up there. What are they doing? Because the K2 is with me at the same time. Oh my what God. What is going on up there? They take what's up there. What are they doing? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Yes. 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 Are you table tipping, yes. table tipping or something? Yes. Yes. Are you moving furniture? Yes. Everyone's just sat still. They're nice. No, you're sat still, like proper banging. Yeah. 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 As if someone's moving half the furniture. Yeah. 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 Where? Just a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago, yeah. She tried to walk you to find out what you were doing all this. She says, good Lord, what's he doing all this? Twice. No, that's me. And that would have been caught on the voice recorder. One room to the other, but not no, furniture. Like just no, that was proper, like, table. picking up tables and, and, and chairs and sofas and beds. The, 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 the oh, literally, you're, you can hear everything. We can, in the attic, you can hear people talking. Right, but you've not heard room. any banging or moving or anything as if it's coming from there, have you? That can correspond to what we've just been saying. We've heard loud banging, music banging kind of thing. No, it wasn't music. This was not bass. Furniture. No. This is not bass, this is proper... No. Proper it's furniture. While we all went on a break, I decided to set up a trigger object experiment in one of the attic rooms using a wooden cross. Before this hall was built, a priory once stood on these very grounds, and even the old hall was constructed using leftover material from that same priory. Not only that, but a 12th century monk has been seen and heard in this building on many occasions, so we hoped to capture the cross moving by itself. Unfortunately, we didn't capture the cross moving on the recording, but our locked off camera did capture some strange sounds from inside the attic rooms. Take a listen.
Keep in mind, no one was in either attic room during this time, as everyone was currently on a break downstairs on the ground floor. If there are any spirits in this building, in this room, on this floor, from past to recent, can you come forward? Can you come forward and tell us that you're here? Can you let us know that you're here? We don't mean any harm. We have devices. They don't cause harm either. All they do is allow us to see where you are and to tell us that you're there. We mean with the greatest of respect and we'd like you to come forward. If you can hear my voice, my voice is the light. And I want you to come to that light. I want you to reach out to me so I can reach out to you. I'm going to put my hand out. Can you come and take my hand? Spirits in this building, would you like to come forward? Come forward to us tonight, we mean you no harm, we are here with the utmost respect for you, we'd like you to come forward to communicate with us. Come on, can you copy me? Can you reply back? Do you mind if I do it because we don't do it but, does anybody mind if I do it? Do you hear that? That sounded like it was pretty bad, didn't it? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Apart from some knocks and bangs that we all heard, nothing else was captured for the next 30 minutes. So we decided to conduct a spirit box session in the room next door to see if any spirits could come forward and provide us with information or simply a message. Did you say help? Do you want some help? Do you not like us being here? Yeah, leave. Why do you want us to leave? Why do you want us to leave? Stand up, Joe. Come on, we know there's about three spirits around us at the moment. Come and talk to us. Why? 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 <laughs> Because we want to know your story. Are you happy? No. no. How many of you is there now with us? Mary, are you listening to us? We've 
this place used in the war? Was there any soldiers housed here? Did a battle take place nearby in the fields? No, no. no. Okay, thank you. Were you evacuees? Can you answer that question again? Was there somebody found hanged in the woods? Was there any pagan rituals in the woods? I just get that the woods are significant. Mm. We proceeded to have another break after spending over an hour in the attic rooms. After our break, we decided to do a live feed to our Facebook page to allow viewers to watch and see if they can witness anything that we would. Unfortunately though, nothing out of the ordinary happened during this time. And not only that, but no other activity was seen or heard for the rest of the night. This concludes our investigation at Gresley Old Hall. We caught some strange moments of activity all throughout the night, but as soon as that activity occurred, everything went quiet shortly after. All in all, the Brooks Paranormal team had a fun night of investigating this historic building, and we very much look forward to returning here again. <laughs>